We finally got the news we've been expecting for a little while regarding the Spyro Reignited trilogy coming to the Nintendo Switch, because in this Nintendo Direct E3 it has been confirmed as coming on September the 3rd. This is a pretty big day for Spyro, I mean he got announced in CTR a few hours ago, and now he's in, he's got, he's on the Nintendo Switch. So I, I sort of predicted this the other day, and I'm saying I predicted this because I made some other Nintendo predictions which were um, slightly wide of the mark. But anyway, yeah, I predicted this, it looks really good, what a big day it is for Spyro. So we saw a little bit of gameplay in the Direct, and I thought it looked pretty good. We're expecting to get an actual gameplay trailer in the next few days of in the Treehouse or something like that. So we'll see how it looks, it looks decent, and let's be fair, on the Switch with the Joy-Cons on, it just suits the system perfectly and I can't wait to pick it up. I'm hoping it'll be just like around £30, as that's pretty much what it cost me on the Xbox, so I can't wait to pick it up. So let's talk a little bit about the Spyro Reignited trilogy, if you are, if you are unaware of it. So the trilogy is the first three Insomniac Spyro games just remade, given a new coat of paint, and also Toys and Bob who have done this have kind of breathed new life into certain bits, the dragons are all more unique than they were before and they've just added some bits which it's a really great experience to play through whether you've played the games before on the PlayStation 1 when they first came out or if you're a newcomer like I was just um, a year or so ago. So the first three Insomniac games make up the Spyro Reignited trilogy, those are Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, or if you're in Europe I believe it was called Gateway to Glimmer which is, um, yeah, not as good, and Spyro Year of the Dragon. I've got these games on Xbox like I said and I can honestly say they are some of the most fun I've had in games recently, like for value pound for pound or dollar for dollar, like they are so fun, it's a really great experience and I was playing them just today, I was playing um, Spyro the Dragon again, anticipating this announcement. What I think will be great about bringing Spyro to the Switch is the, the portability. There's so much content to get stuck into with the trilogy um, and I can't wait to discuss it a little bit more. These games are from people's childhood, they're really cool and if you've not played them since you, know, since you were young, they really are worth diving back into. So how do I think it'll do on Switch? I think it will sell pretty well on Switch. I mean, Spyro's in CTR, which which can only help really, because CTR's on Switch as well. Crash and um, the Insane Trilogy sold pretty well on Switch, so I'm expecting Spyro to be a very nice addition to people's libraries and lots of people to pick it up. Hopefully as well, if we can get more people buying it on Switch, we can get building hype for Spyro 4. I'm hoping the next Spyro game will be Spyro 4. I will cover this game in a little bit more detail before release on September the 3rd, so if you do want to see that and you want to see more Crash and Spyro content in, in the years ahead, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have enjoyed today and are looking forward to Spyro, smash that like button. And also, what are your thoughts on the trilogy coming to the Switch? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for your time today, and I will see you in another video soon.